so glad you're here joining me today to learn some new sounds. So today is kind of exciting because we're going to do some new things. So I hope that you have your thinking cap ready. Okay, so let's put it on. Tie it real tight around your neck. Have those listening ears ready. So every time you see me do this or you see my earring, because sometimes I can't hold my ear, I want you to answer a question that I might ask or tell me something about a word. Okay, I want you to really try your best and do the best you can telling me sounds. Okay, and that's going to really help you when we read our new book. This is the new book we're going to be reading, Joe and the Boat. And we're going to be working on some of those words today. Are you ready to get started? Okay, great. Now, the first word we're going to do today is the word go. Can you say go? Great job. What does go mean? Or can you use go in a sentence? Good job. I might say something like, I will go to the store. Or I will go for a walk today. I could also show you something like this. Here's a truck, and it's going to go down the road. So it could stop, or it could go. So go is moving. It's going somewhere. I will go to the store. I will do something. I will go. Okay, great. I think you know what go means. So let's make the word go. What's the first sound you hear come out of your mouth when you say go? Go. Good job. Did you say g? If you said g, you were right. Now can you find the g sound? Great job. If you said that you were right, let's say it and pull it down. G, g. Now, what's the next sound you hear when you say go, go? Good job. Did you say o? Oh? If you said o, oh, you are absolutely right. So find that sound and say it as you pull it down. O. Oh. Awesome job. Now, here's where the tricky part. Normally, when I say check each sound, you would say something like g, ah, because we've been working with the short sounds that vowels make, and that is one of our vowels, o. Oh. So now we're working on the long sound the o makes, so it makes the sound o. Oh. So o, oh, the letter, makes two sounds, ah or o. Oh. So when you see this letter, you could try one sound or the other. Okay, so you could say g, a, ga, which isn't a word, or you could say g, o, go. And that is the word we made today, go. So today we're going to be working on the long o sounds. Let's say their name, o. Okay, great. Now, let's see if you can do the next one. We're going to try another o sound. And this word we're going to make, I want you to tell me if you know what this word means. What is snow? Snow. Can you tell me or use it in a sentence? Snow? Well, it is not weather for snow here. But soon we might get a little snow. And here are some pictures of my boys out in the snow. And look, here he is holding his sled in the snow. And here my boys are playing in the snow. And look at all of the snow, inches and inches of snow. We don't usually get that much snow. So we were excited and took a picture of snow. Good job. Now, can you tell me the first sound you hear when you say snow? Snow. It's the first sound that comes out of your mouth. Snow. Great job. Did you say s? You were right. Let's find it. Good job. And let's pull it down and say it. S. You are getting so good at finding those sounds. That's the easy part now. Okay, let's listen for the next sound. Snow. Snow. What's that next sound? Good job. N is the next sound. Let's look for that sound. Do you see the n sound? Good job, you're right. Let's say it and pull it down. 
Mm. Now, what's the last sound you hear when we say snow? Snow. Did you see that sound? If you said O, oh, you were right. Now, I want you to look up here. We don't just have the O this time. We have another letter with it. Those two letters put together are another pattern that says O. So a pattern can be a couple letters put together that make one sound. So one sound with two letters. O. O. Let's check it and blend it. Let's do it together. S. N. O. Snow. What does that sound make? O. Good job. Snow is our word. Great job. So that's a little tricky. We have another way of making the O sound. So when you see O-W together, you know that could make the sound O. Okay? Let's do another one. The next word we're going to do is toe. Toe. Can you tell me what is a toe? Or could you use it in a sentence? Toe. Mm. You know what I'm going to show you? I'm going to show you my toe. You show me yours. Okay, there's my toe. My toes. There's my toes. One, two, three, four, five. I have five toes on that foot. And I have five toes on this foot. Okay, so toes are at the bottom of your feet. Just like you have fingers on your hands, you have toes on your feet. Okay, great. Now, let's make the word toe. What's the first sound you hear when I say toe? Toe. That's right. If you said t, you were right. Can you find the t sound? Great job. If you said this, you were right. T. Now, what's the next sound you hear when you say t, toe, toe? Did you see my lips? T oh, that's right. O oh, again. Now, look up here. Another pattern that makes the O sound. And this pattern is made with the O-E. So when you see those two letters together, they will read O, O. So let's say it and pull it down, O, and let's check it, T, O. What did you say? T, O, toe. Did you say toe? Great job. Toe is our word. Okay, you're doing so great. Let's try another one. Let's see if I can trick you on this one. The word is boat. Can you use the word boat? boat in a sentence or could you tell me about a boat? Tell me something about a boat. What could you tell me? Anything you can think of. Great job. So we are going to be reading about Joe in the boat and there's his boat. Just a little boat. I could also show you a picture of a man in a boat. And I could say something like, he is going to go out on his boat in the stream, and maybe he's fishing. So he will fish in his boat. Okay? Great. So that is the word boat. Now let's see if we can make and hear the sounds in the word boat. What is the first sound you hear when we say boat? Boat. What do you hear? Boat. Did you say b? If you said b, you were right. So I want you to find that sound. Good job. And let's pull it down. If you said this, you were right. B, b. Okay. What's the next sound in boat? Boat. Boat. Good. Did you say o? If you said o, you were right. Can you find the O sound? You're right. This is the O sound. And it's, again, two letters, the O and the A, that make one sound. And the one sound is O. So you're going to say O when you see those two letters together. 
O. B O. And we've got the whole word is boat. What's that last sound? Boat. Good job. If you said t, you were right. Can you find it? Say it. And let's put it down. T, t. Good job. I'm going to point, you check it, and you blend it. Ready? Great job. Did you say b, o, t, boat? If you did, you were right. Good job. So that word was boat. Okay, we've got one more. I saved the trickiest one for last just to see how you would do. Okay, let's try it. The last word we're going to do is home. Can you tell me what a home is? Or can you use the word home in a sentence? You see my earring. I'm listening. I want to hear what does the word home mean? Home. I'll use it in a sentence. Home. Good job. So I could say something like, I am here at home. Or I live in my home. This is my home. My house. Or I could show you a picture and say, oh, look, this is someone's home where they live. Home. Okay? So where you live is your home. Great job. Okay, last word. You're doing great. Make sure that thinking cap's on tight. This is a tricky one. Home. What's the first sound you hear in home? Great. If you said, you were right, is the first sound. Do you see it up here? Great. If you said this, you were right. Let's say the sound. Now, what's the next sound you hear in home? Home. Good job. Did you say, oh, you were right. Home is the next sound. Oh. And this is the pattern that makes the O oh sound. You see we have the O oh and the E again. But this time they're separated with a line. Okay? So this pattern is the O space E. So something goes between the O and the E for this pattern. So now if we check the sounds, we'd have O and we need the last sound, home. What's the last sound you hear when you say home? Good job. You're right. You do hear the M. Mm. So let's find it. Let's grab it and let's pull it down. Mm. Hmm. Now, if I look at that, that doesn't look quite right. What we want to do with this pattern is we're going to put the letter in between the OE pattern. Okay? So we would check the sounds and we would still say O. Hmm. So when we see that O, we will say the O sound. And then we say the M mm sound. And that E we don't hear because it went along with the O. So you can say, say it for me, each sound. And the word? Good job. I'm going to do it once more for you. Ready? H, O, M. Home. Great job. Great job. Okay. Now, we're going to do one last thing. So make sure you're ready. I'm going to have you do the work. I'm going to have you look at these words we've made. I've been collecting all these words we made over on my board so that you could see them at the end all together. So you can see all the patterns that make the O sound. Look at those patterns. So let's look at the first one that we made. And it's the easiest one. And do you remember? Do you think you can check and, and say this word for me? What was the word? Did you say go? If you said go, you were right. Go is the first word. G -o, go. Very good. Now let's try another one. How about this? Can you read this word to me? Let's try it. T -o, t. Good job. The word is toe. Let's try another one. How about over here? The word? Did you say boat? Good job. That word is boat. How about this word? 
try to check the sound. And the word is snow. S -n -o. Snow. Good. And the last one. This was the tricky one, remember? H O M. Home. Very good. Now I'm going to point to each of these patterns and I want you to tell me what sound they make. So all these patterns make the what sound? O. Okay, here we go. What sound does this make? O. What sound does this make? O. What sound does this make? O. What about this sound? O. And what about this sound? Great job. They all make the O sound. So I hope you can join me next time because we're going to use these patterns for the O sound and we're going to be doing some new games with them. Okay, so it's going to be a lot of fun. And all those words are going to be really great help when we read Joe and the Boat. And we'll be doing that really soon also. Okay, well, thanks again for joining me today. You worked really hard. So go relax and have some fun and join me next time when we do our next game with those long O words. Okay, thanks again and have a great day. Bye-bye.